Hello everyone, it's Michelle. Today we're going to be making some uh, crystal soaps. I saw this pin on Pinterest that had a picture of what the soaps look like and I thought it was really cool. I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of what they look like. So this is the picture that I saw and as you can see they're really pretty and they have different colors. And I found the tutorial on Pinterest, but I wanted to test it myself just because my materials were not exactly the same. And I also need to figure out how to cut it, um, the certain crystal shape that they had. So it's, it's going to be pretty cool to see how I'm going to get it to look like that. I'm sorry that my voice sounds kind of weird, but I don't know, I got some type of cold. <laughs> so yeah, so let's try it out and see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through the ingredients that I got. So I got the uh, soap colors. I got the clear uh, soap. I think this is like the base that you use to just get them to stick together. The other thing that you're going to need is just clear cups. Um, because when you're mixing the colors, you're going to want to see how they're layering. And so the clear cups will let you um, see what what's going on if you want to add more clear or if you want to add more color and then you're going to need a knife because we're going to have to shape the uh, crystals a certain way so i'm hoping that i can get it right and then just a regular bowl and also i'm going to use lavender oil i just had the oils from like the bath bombs that i made andy you want to say hi andy Hello, what are you doing? Do you want to watch me make soap? <sighs> okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this out. See? That is so cool, it's like a huge piece of soap. place them in the bowl. Alright, I'm back and I went ahead and melted all that soap so it did come out to a pretty good um, amount. But now I'm going to add the lavender oil. Alright, and now we can start adding the soap colors. So I'm only going to add one drop to see what that does and how dark it is. And then I'm going to keep adding accordingly to how dark I want it. Let's see what color we get. darker color all right so I got an update there was a little bit of a disaster so when I was mixing up the um, colors it started drying almost immediately so it's like completely hardened and I practically had to get them out of these cups and put them in glass jars um, because that way I could microwave them and melt them again so we can mix the colors. If you're going to be doing this, I would not recommend you using these um, plastic cups uh, to mix the stuff because if you're taking longer to get the colors that you want, you're going to run into this where it's just going to start drying and then nothing will melt them. I mean, I tried like a bowl with hot water and I sat them in there to see if maybe they will melt in these little cups and it just didn't do anything. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put these in the microwave, melt them, and then I'm going to come back and then we're going to quickly mix them in these little things. And now that I know that they dry pretty fast, that's a good thing because I didn't know like how long I was going to have to wait. Alright, I'm back and I went ahead and melted all of the soaps. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing these up. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes and the soaps are still kind of um, hardening and they're still pretty warm, but I'm trying to let them settle and I'm just, I'm a little upset because they're not, the colors did not separate like I was expecting them to separate. So it was just like a video that I found and it was, it just kind of showed all of the ingredients being added but in the video it didn't really like specify how long you're supposed to wait or if you're supposed to wait like a certain amount of time for this to harden and then add the color I'm just gonna put them in the fridge for like 20 minutes just to let them really cool down and then we'll come back and then I'll start cutting them into crystal shapes I still think they're gonna be pretty but not what I expected <laughs> alright so I'm back and the soaps have already um, set, so I'm going to go ahead and start taking them out of the cups and then cutting them into crystal shapes. Alright, so I'm going to bring you guys in closer with my phone. I think that's a lot better than the camera because it's getting so dark. This one looks pretty good. I like the way it turned out. I like the colors. Yeah, I really like this one. Andy, what? What do you have to say? What did I make? Hmm? What is it? Is it crystal? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is what the soaps look like. And I'm very happy with how they turned out. They look really, really good. Alright, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making these crystals. They were really pretty and easy to make. I love the colors that they turned out. It was definitely a challenge to get them to work, but I really like the end result. I may try some different colors for different seasons, so you might see that in a couple more videos from now. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I will be making more like this. I will be making product reviews, so keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!